The U.S. Air Force plans to retire nearly three dozen F-22 Raptor stealth fighter jets in fiscal 2023, preferring to focus on its next-generation air dominance NGAD, program, according to the recently proposed budget. The new upgrades for the F-22 have been teased both in official Air Force artworks and FY23 budget. 25 years after it entered service in the U.S. Air Force, the F-22 Raptor is scheduled to receive some major upgrades to keep its edge over future adversaries. Some of these upgrades were unveiled last week in the fiscal year 23 budget request documentation in an official artwork shared by General Mark Kelly, the commander of Air Combat Command, in a post about the 15th anniversary of the approval of the first F-22 flight demonstration. In the artwork we can see three Raptors loaded with new stealthy external fuel tanks, two underwing faceted pods and a new unknown air-to-air -air missile, but there are even more novelties in the documents, which unveils a previously undisclosed relationship between the F-22 and the development of the next generation air dominance, NGAD, the system of systems, which includes the first Air Force's sixth gen fighter aircraft. Let's now see what we know about the upgrades that have been disclosed so far. The two pods installed under the outer underwing hardpoints have already been spotted during flight testing on an F-22 at the Air Force's Plant 42 facility in Palmdale, California, in February. It is not known yet what kind of systems are housed inside the two pods. One of the possibilities is this being a new electronic warfare, EU, pod, specifically developed for the Raptor in order not to dangerously degrade its radar cross-section, RCS. The F-22 is already equipped with highly sophisticated EU systems but, considering the ever-evolving EU world, it might be worth to trade a small fraction of the Raptor's low observability for new advanced capabilities. Also, the pod would make a simpler and less expensive way to rapidly integrate new capabilities on the aircraft as they become available. One of the two pods seems to have a faceted aperture for a sensor of some kind, perhaps for an infrared search and track system, IRST, as hypothesized also by the Warzone. This type of sensor was initially among the various systems being developed for the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, but it was later cancelled. The Air Force, however, is now looking again to get this capability for the Raptor, as shown in Small Business Innovation Research, SBIR, documentation that has been recently released. The F-22 program office is seeking novel hardware and software solutions that provide long-range infrared sensing and object detection capabilities. If a contractor is able to develop a product that meets the requirement, the Air Force will evaluate it, with the intention of integrating it on the fighter. The addition on the F-22 of an IRST system like the F-35's Electro-Optical Targeting System, EOTS, would require heavy and expensive modifications to the airframe, so a potted solution seems the most reasonable possibility. The addition of an internal IRST sensor on the Raptor was also considered not possible by Lockheed Martin some years ago. It is worth noting that the same SBIR documentation that we just mentioned also calls for other F-22-related requirements. Such as cyber intrusion detection and prevention, predictive maintenance, synthetic data generation, sensor fusion, improved sensing, radar, manned-unmanned teaming, pilot-assisted autonomy, alternative navigation to GPS, scorpion helmet-mounted display, HMD, red air threat replication application, optimized intercept, real-time debriefing, basic fighter maneuvers, and combat identification. The HMD is another capability that was cancelled during the development of the Raptor, but the Air Force later began investigating about integrating it on the aircraft once in service. The first system that was looked at for integration was, obviously, the joint helmet-mounted queuing system, the Air Force's standard HMD, but various problems related to the aircraft characteristic prevented the works to go forward. Years later, the Air Force looked at another HMD system for integration, the Scorpion, but, due to unknown issues, it did not succeed again. Another upgrade featured in the artworks is the couple of new external fuel tanks, which is officially known as Low Drag Tank and Pylon, LDTP, and designed to be stealthier and more aerodynamically efficient than the current 600-gallon fuel tanks. This is description given in the FY23 budget request documentation. The F-22 Low Drag Tank and Pylon, LDTP, capability is critical to maintaining air superiority in the joint fight and combating emerging threats. Due to the advancement of adversary technologies in detection and emergence of fighter, cargo, and refueling platforms increasing engagement ranges, it is critical to future mission execution and success to provide the Raptor with an increased range capability while maintaining own ship survivability. The F-22 LDTPs are advanced technological designs providing increased persistence and range while maintaining lethality and survivability. The low drag tanks are intended to reduce drag, facilitate supersonic flight with external tanks and extend the range of the F-22. The pylons are equipped with smart rack pneumatic technology to accurately control ejection performance and smooth wind-swept surface for minimum drag without store. LDTP risk reduction activities are captured under the Advanced Technology Development, ATD, Major Thrust. Documentation of the development and integration components as part of the Engineering, Manufacturing, and Development, EMD, program will be captured under the LDTP Major Thrust. The focus both on range and low observability is not unexpected, since the U.S. are now looking strategically to get an edge over near-peer adversaries like China which owns stealth aircraft and would force the U.S. to operate over the Pacific Ocean, thus requiring longer range of action for its aircraft. Obviously, having external fuel tanks that do not impact excessively the Raptor's characteristics would be a huge advantage. The last upgrade featured in the artwork is a new unknown air-to-air -air missile. While there are a number of air-to-air -air missile programs in the works, it is possible that the one in the image could be a representative design, which may or may not correspond to the real deal, for the highly secretive AIM-260 missile. So far, the missile has never been depicted in any kind of image and details about the program are very scarce. 
The development of the AIM-260, also called Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, was first unveiled in 2019 and has been in the works at least since 2017. The goal of the new long-range air-to-air missile is to replace the AIM-120 AMRAAM, advanced medium-range air-to-air missile, and counter the threat posed by the Chinese Place-15 missile, while avoiding any foreign threats being able to outrange the AIM-120. Among the few known technical details, the new missile will be compatible with the AMRAM dimensions, but obviously with greater range, and is planned to be carried in the F-22 weapons bay and on the F-A-18 at first, with the F-35 to follow. Flight tests are already in progress and the missile is expected to be fielded by next year. Because of these reasons, it would be reasonable to suppose that the one shown in the image could be at least a hint at the AIM-260. Now, as we mentioned in the opening of this story, the FY23 documents link the F-22's upgrades to the development of the NGAD. As it appears, the Raptor is being used as a testbed for the new technologies being developed, but it is also scheduled to benefit itself from them, in a technology transfer both from and to the NGAD. Here is what the documents say. Technology maturation, risk reduction, studies, demonstrations and prototypes of classified F-22 development efforts. The F-22 Advanced Technology Development, ATD, program is conducted using a rapid acquisition construct leveraging commercial best practices such as Agile and Lean. This allows the F-22 Raptor Enterprise to develop, test, and field software, hardware from multiple programs, product lines, using a scheduled cadence for capabilities as they mature. The F-22 program attempts to maximize efficiency by utilizing technology transfer both to the next generation air dominance, NGAD, portfolio, and from the NGAD portfolio based on emerging threats, AF priorities, and development pipeline capacity. Incorporating NGAD developed technologies will include developing, integrating, and testing capabilities on the F-22 weapon system. One of the new technologies for which the F-22 might be acting as testbed is the mirror-like coating that, since late 2021, is being spotted on a couple of Raptors at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. The real reason behind these coatings, which present some differences between the two aircraft, is currently unknown, but now seems to be even more related to the 6th gen system of system. About Stefano Durso Facebook Twitter Instagram Stefano Durso is a freelance journalist and contributor to the Aviationist based in Lecce, Italy. A graduate in industrial engineering he's also studying to achieve a master degree in aerospace engineering. Electronic warfare, loitering munitions and OSINT techniques applied to the world of military operations and current conflicts are among his areas of expertise. Don't forget to subscribe, everyone, and turn on the notification bell. The service seeks to phase out a total of 33 of its oldest F-22s. These jets are apparently not combat capable anymore and are used only for training purposes. The cost of getting these F-22s ready for combat, according to Major General James Pecha, the Air Force's Deputy Assistant Secretary for Budget, will be $1.8 billion over eight years, which is astronomically high. Thus, the USAF decided to divert those funds for research on cutting-edge combat jet designs as part of the NGAD program. Furthermore, the requested budget, which includes funding for NGAD, would rise by $9 billion. The F-22 Raptor fleet will be replaced by this sixth-generation fighter aircraft in the coming years. The U.S. Air Force disclosed in 2020 that it had designed, produced, and tested a top-secret fighter plane in just one year. The intriguing fighter is part of the Air Force's NGAD program, which aims to eventually replace the F-22 Raptor. Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown Jr. had testified before the House Armed Services Committee in connection with the fiscal 2022 budget, saying that there could be two variants of NGAD, one with long-range missions for the Indo-Pacific and the other with shorter ranges between possible battle areas in Europe. He made it abundantly clear that air dominance is a top priority and told the House that he wants NGAD to be able to perform several roles. He stressed that the aircraft's primary mission will be air dominance, but that it will also be able to hit ground targets. Brown mentioned that the U.S. Air Force intends to downsize its fighter jet force to only four types of aircraft the F-35, F-15EX, F-16, and the NGAD. Similarly, Will Roper, former Assistant Secretary of the Air Force's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, SAFAQ, was previously quoted as saying, we've already built and flown a full-scale flight demonstrator in the real world, and we broke records in doing it. We are ready to go and build the next generation aircraft in a way that has never happened before. The detailed image of NGAD was seen for the first time on page 55 of the Air Force's Biennial Acquisition Report, which was released last year, under the heading, Next Generation Air Dominance. The aircraft shown is a big, diamond-shaped fighter jet with massive engine air intakes extending to the left and right of the cockpit, protected from radar from underneath. The plane has two engines, a bubble canopy cockpit, and two vertical stabilizers that can be folded flat into the wings when not in use. The graphic also pointed to the possibility to reconfigure the aircraft's weapon and propulsion components. The V-1, V-2, and V-3 versions of air-to-air -air missiles, landing gear, and engines are depicted alongside the fighter. Modern combat aircraft are constantly receiving new weaponry, but retrofitting an existing aircraft with new engines is typically thought to be prohibitively difficult. The prototype of the secret stealth fighter jet was apparently built using digital engineering technologies to drastically reduce the time it takes to develop a new aircraft. Virtual modeling and simulation tools are used in digital engineering. Digital engineering may play a role in NGAD's capacity to quickly absorb new, complicated enhancements. System of Systems The sixth generation fighter jet will be part of an integrated NGAD system of systems, it means this will include unmanned drones, manned jets, and a new generation of networking technologies. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall recently explained, 
NGAD must be more than just the next crewed fighter jet. It's a program that will include a crewed platform teamed with much less expensive autonomous uncrewed combat aircraft, employing a distributed, tailorable mix of sensors, weapons, and other mission equipment operating as a team or formation. Advanced AI-enabled computer algorithms have already been demonstrated by the Air Force to be capable of handling information in milliseconds, drawing conclusions, and fighting splendidly in dogfights. Human faculties, on the other hand, are especially suitable for more subjective variables like emotion, intuition, and evaluating several aspects in connection to one another. In short, the NGAD platform will be capable of having a fighter jet with increased speed, maneuverability, stealth technology, and AI-enabled data processing. Moreover, the Air Force has already achieved significant headway in its endeavors to deploy a loyal wingman drone alongside a manned fighter jet. This could potentially enable NGAD to operate a drone by its side and will complement the F-35 fleet in near future. The U.S. Air Force's, USAF's, next-generation air dominance, NGAD, fighter remains under wraps, but some clues about capabilities the service wants in the aircraft are surfacing. The sixth-generation fighter aircraft, one full-scale flight demonstrator secretly flew for the first time in 2020, is expected to replace the service's Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor fleet, starting in the 2030s. Whereas past generations of fighter aircraft relied upon speed and maneuverability to defeat foes, it seems the NGAD will lean heavily on stealth characteristics to hide from opponents and on computing power to outsmart them, according to comments from the USAF and likely development partners. Disclosures point to a hyper-connected stealth aircraft that will use artificial intelligence programs to rapidly digest and make sense of multiple streams of sensor data, information that will help combat pilots beat their adversaries to the punch. NGAD will be a multi-role combat aircraft, but air dominance will be its primary mission, General Charles Brown, USAF Chief of Staff, told the U.S. House Armed Services Committee in June. He added that the service wants the aircraft to have an increased weapons load and increased range. Greater range would be useful flying across the vast areas of the Indo-Pacific region, Brown said. Greater weapons load would probably be needed in combat against China's Air Force, which the Pentagon expects to have a numerical advantage. Winning air battles will require more than a bigger arsenal of missiles. In order to eliminate China's numerical advantage, each fighter will have to be able to repeatedly find enemy aircraft and fire quickly, again and again. Lockheed, a leading contender to develop the sixth-generation fighter, says new digital technologies will give NGAD omniscient situational awareness that is reminiscent of the quarterback role the USAF has given the Lockheed F-35 stealth fighter. That aircraft is increasingly valued by the service for its ability to use its sensors, software and connectivity to survey the battlefield. Big data and all-knowing capability also fits into the USAF's desire for an advanced battle management system, ABMS, a battlefield network that would allow pilots to make decisions faster using data gathered from around the combat theater. For example, ABMS might be used to pass intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance information gathered by autonomous loyal wingman unmanned air vehicles, UAVs, back to the NGAD platform, which could then use artificial intelligence programs to make sense of it all. The USAF has described NGAD as being a family of systems, with a manned fighter at its center. In October, the USAF awarded Kratos Defense and Security Solutions and General Atomics Aeronautical Systems each a contract to develop an off-board sensing station, UAV. Such a loyal wingman would probably fly in advance of NGAD, search for targets and threats using its sensors, such as radar and infrared search and track sensors, and then possibly act as a weapons launch platform. Raytheon, a manufacturer of advanced radars, expects sensors on NGAD to be automatically harmonized to find targets. Some sensors, such as radar, might also be automatically turned off in certain situations to reduce the jet's electronic signature to avoid detection, the company says. Advanced adversaries' interest in artificial intelligence partly comes from a belief that the future battlefield is going to be overwhelmingly chaotic and complex, challenging circumstances created by large numbers of sophisticated radars, electronic warfare systems, surface-to-air missiles, and fighter aircraft fielded by advanced adversaries such as China and Russia. It's going to take a suite of sensors integrated together, says Eric Ditmars, vice president of Secure Sensor Solutions, Raytheon Intelligence and Space. There are environments where the radar performs phenomenally, he says. There are environments where the radar is jammed, where infrared search and track systems are phenomenal. Integrated systems must be able to respond to changing circumstances. The environments are getting so contested that you really have to have the ability to be more adaptive, says Ditmars. The intent is to allow that pilot to be able to be more flexible in the mission that they are executing, and not be as reliant upon the pre-planning that has been done. Being able to rapidly call upon the right sensors could make or break a mission, especially when unexpected threats pop up, he says. It is a concept that goes past the sensor fusion techniques employed aboard the F-35, Ditmars says. This system is deciding, in this environment, I need to use my AESA radar in this mode, I'm not going to use my electronic warfare system because that's going to be detected, he says. Potential scenarios might be solved ahead of time by training artificial intelligence, AI programs using computer simulations of combat, he says. That's the great thing about artificial intelligence. You give it a set of defined criteria and it figures it out, Ditmars says. The concept has a precedent. Researchers with Air Combat Command recently developed the R2 Micro software, a machine learning program that used more than half a million computer simulations to train the radar on the Lockheed U-2 surveillance aircraft to find enemy missile launchers. In late 2020, the artificial intelligence program was demonstrated aboard AU-2 at Beale AFB in California.
R2 Micro was responsible for sensor employment and tactical navigation, while the pilot flew the aircraft and coordinated with the AI on sensor operation, explained the service. Together, they flew a reconnaissance mission during a simulated missile strike. R2 Micro's primary responsibility was finding enemy launchers while the pilot was on the lookout for threatening aircraft, both sharing the U-2's radar. New team the USAF said the AI software was easily transferable to other systems, and that it planned to refine the technology. Putting AI safely in command of a U.S. military system for the first time ushers in a new age of human-machine teaming and algorithmic competition, said Will Roper, who was Assistant Secretary of the USAF for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics at the time. Failing to realize AI's full potential will mean ceding decision advantage to our adversaries. In other words, asking a pilot to make sense of complex sensor data in the middle of a pitched battle might lose precious seconds to the enemy. We're trying to take some of this workload off the pilot. They are human and they can only do so much, Ditmar says. As the systems get more and more complex, it becomes very challenging for them. Don't forget to subscribe, everyone, and turn...